Welcome to a new video and this is my second attempt on getting to the highest round. Um, my first attempt was, um, it was a solid attempt, I think I got to 176, but I definitely think I can improve it and there was a few different ways I was going to do this. So um, we changed the map, I don't think this is nearly as long as logs, but the area you get in terms of like building like where the um, mobs are the most which is on like that top right corner I think was gonna help um, really help us do this so we just completed easy mode and um, there we just get the basic things we're doing to upgrade and it's just making money for the first part so you know round 1 to 100 is always pretty basic on a trying to make as much money as possible now because we have water this time which was very important because obviously we have water on logs but not much um i focused on using some uh, trading and marketplaces um obviously some top tier uh monkey factories monkey banana factory places with a uh, banana central in it and then I just like uh, filled up the rest of the place with um, banana farms. This is just boring. I mean, you've all seen it before. It's nothing, um, nothing crazy, nothing interesting. Uh, you can see my money goes up actually pretty quickly. I think I get to like three, four million before I um stop. I do waste a lot of that money, and you don't actually need that much money. I'll uh, let you know why later, but. This is how we started, and uh, I think it was a pretty good start. We didn't waste too much money on building towers. Uh, it was mainly just farming. Although, again, like I said, it really doesn't matter at the start because you don't actually need that much money. But I, um, I don't know. I guess I just found it fun to make a, you know, a load of money. A few of the things that made it different to the last attempt was um more, the main difference between now and the last attempt is using all four paragons i forgot about the um the buccaneer paragon the um arch of very dutch the big boat that pulls in bags very important i think it ends up doing the most damage it's very close but we didn't get it to a max paragon so um is what it is so here you see my biggest time waste i put down so many monkeys you see it's on 15 times but it's already been 30 minutes but um i didn't need to do this so the way paragons work and i'm gonna make a full video about this because it you know i didn't know and everyone should know you need to place out 100 monkeys and those 100 monkeys need to add up to I think it's 250k and that can't include the um the base monkeys <coughs> so I don't you know, actually need to put this many down you just need to count to 100 get that many down and then um the next main part which you'll see after I upgrade this I, look how much money I spent I spent like 2 million it's actually ridiculous like you thought you know I thought this is what you need to do, I thought the, the money you spend was like the main way you level up your paragon, it's not. <laughs> and that's like the biggest thing that I thought, and I think a lot of other people think it. The best way to level up your paragon is damage pops, but when I make a full video about this, I'll, um, I'll explain everything and the math behind it. But the max paragon you can get yourself, as you'll see in this video, I don't get it on the this paragon, but I get it on the next one. And the uh you get it on the ninja and boomerang is actually 76. So you can see here pretty basic. I'm going for two paragons at once because one uses water and one uses land, so you know they don't really interfere. But you need to do I think it's 16 million pops between all of your towers. Which is <laughs> A whole lot but you can also farm i think it was like 
it's not really as good, but I think it was one banana farm, but one farm was like four pops. So you can, I mean, you'd have to farm like 100k, and that's only 400,000 pops. Like, you know, it's just not worth it. So you can see me get the arch, uh, the arch thing. That only, um, I think it was only about 46. And uh, I would have liked to get it higher, obviously, because it's a very useful tower. But um, next time, I think I'm going to use Cubism as the map. And uh, that will allow me to get more boats, but I'll also try and uh, get more pops on it to max out the uh, Paragon. So here you see me get the next Paragon. I thought I had enough. 53, I must have messed something up. Because by technicality, you can get the... <coughs> Sorry. You can get the um, normal monkey paragon higher than every other paragon because you can get a second um, dark master. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit ill. Uh, you could tell it in the last video. And um, yeah, but here you can actually see me actually figure out how to do the paragon. So I can now make money while doing the paragons. And um, I put down, I think 100, I think it's after this, yeah, this is just me getting to 100, but um, I'm just trying to get pops, and uh, this is one of the hardest ones, I went for Bloom Sabotage, because you get um, you get the big group buff, and then I can put the group buff with a perma brew on um, the Grandmaster Ninja, which obviously did the most pops, but Grand Sabotage did a lot of pops, and the bottom path did like a good amount of pops as well. So it wasn't actually too bad. We are now at, you know, an hour fit an hour and twenty minutes. But um I think that's like halfway. So uh, you can notice how hard it is. I finally got the paragon and I think that's the max level seventy six by what I've seen for everything but the uh, the normal dart monkey. That's the highest power you can get by yourself because the highest amount of power you can get by yourself, and I'll explain this all in another video, is 120,000. Which um, I think works out to 176. Finally, we aim to get the last paragon, and this is probably the easiest because of um, the, the cross paths. So, obviously, we could get top, um, bottom, and middle so yeah but we can turn everything to a turbo chart so during this which took ages look at me spam that turbo charge i just had to make sure everything was turbo charging and i reckon this was probably done way before i um i actually did it like let me explain that again this is probably actually done way before I did the paragraph, I probably got the 16 million pops, but I just wanted to be sure and I wasn't doing the full math. But you can see it was done a whole lot quicker and there we go, 76 again. So I think that's a high. So now, with every paragon, the last thing to get is the Vengeful Monkey. So everyone's seen a Vengeful Monkey, it's not that interesting. I'll put it on 10 times, but it still takes long. It's like, oh, you're gonna see me mess up my, uh, Ninja Monkey, because uh, I mean, my vengeful. I'm sorry, guys. I'm ill, but I really want to get this video out for you guys. You see me mess up my vengeful by like putting down the wrong things, but we do get it, and we have um, a Dora, correctly, and we buff it all, and then um, we get over the overclock. But here we're on 25, and until the end, the last few rounds, we're going to be on 25 times speed. This means every sec every minute is about two and a two and a bit second. And um you're gonna see this go on for a while. This is what every round is like. For about 247 to, to, to about uh 260, it wasn't actually that much. I could basically just like just chill and just do my overclocks. But when it got to about 260, I had to, every round required so much attention. Like, um, like all the buffs, make sure, you know, I have the timing right, and, um, yeah, it took ages. I said this in my last video, and even though this video 
I beat my last one. I was recording for two hours, and I think 40 minutes. You'll be able to see at the end because that's the time at the bottom. And I only made it about, I don't want to spoil it, but it wasn't much above my last record. So, I don't know how you would get to anything above that. Maybe you'd have to have an extra speed, like top left, if you do look. I have my FPS counter, I just have it always on my computer when I play a game. There's points where you're down to 5 FPS. Now, admittedly, my CPU is a bit lower spec. My GPU is, is, you know, pretty high. And, um, you can see that my screen is just deathly. So here we go. These are the final couple rounds. So we do only make it, I think, I think we beat 286. I think we make it 10 rounds above what we did get. But look at this. I'm having to do each um, each uh, ability. My game's only running about 11 FPS, which is about, I'm normally running at uh, probably about 144, but 6 FPS is fine. So this is actually going so much slower than normal time. Like, if this was a regular game, and like, I, you probably would be able to get through this a whole lot quicker with a better computer, but how much better is your computer really with this many particles on it? Um, right. Some godly computer. Um, here, we get near the end. You see a little freeze on my computer though because it was just so heavy. But these rounds, the amount of bads there are and how much health they have. My, my Archivelli, the, um, a Buccaneer Paragon has, I think finishes, you'll see in a second, but finishes on about 1.4 billion pops. That's 1.4 with a big B. And, um, you can see why, it's because it just, every round is allowed to suck in, I think, two, um, bads, and, um, that's like, if you think about how much damage that is, like, it's, we have this many towers just beaming down a bad, and it takes so long to die, it's ridiculous about how powerful it is, and as you can see, when you get two bads about this far, it's always going to be dangerous because my eventual can't even see that far. And at the top, you can see there's still two. We kill one, we kill two. I mean, we kill one, but we don't get the second one, and it's game over. 1.439 billion pops. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you have any tips on how to get a higher round, please let me know. That was nearly two and a half hours. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.